All right, this is Tinker. Been playing around over at OU with these magnet batteries or whatever it is we're going to call them or whatever somebody's going to call them. What you're seeing, 40 neo magnets. They're N38s, two rows of 20. They're set in an aluminum rail, half inch, about an eight inch or eight one eighth inch channel aluminum the hard stuff not the soft stuff had that for another project the dielectric is nothing more than a post-it note folded around the magnets and shoved down in the rail you see the two meters one on the left is looking at DC voltage the one on the right is looking at AC voltage like everybody has been saying that not everything is created equal and every time you do this it comes out a little bit different plus there's my Swiss Army watch sitting there so you can see what this I hope you can see the sweep and see how long it takes for this thing to charge up at least on the DC side gets up to one amp and then starts over again the one on the AC side it goes up to a hundred and something I've had it up to like 130 it depends on how good a contact I have with these leads anyway just keeps on rolling both of them uh, hope you can get it or I've got it to where you can see it not suggesting anything promising anything just observing and figured I'd share and leave it run for a little bit and then I'll say good night here close to the end I'll show you the whole thing without mucking it up but you can see most of it you're missing. The only thing you're missing is where the leads are tying in. One to the bottom of the aluminum rail and the other ones are tied in at the top and there's a little another little magnet or neo sitting on top of there holding on the balls. Oh I forgot the balls. Those are out of the whip, is it whip mag sets. You know the little ones with plastic and then magnets in both ends that Klasner was messing with. And that's kind of holding it all together. The spacing is one of the three half inch neos between the balls and then they could just go back into a I got a little piece of hot glue that I cut off to keep them from clacking together down inside the aluminum rail that's keeping them fairly stable now this is my first attempt at filming anything with a movie camera which isn't mine I'm going to see if I can't get this on YouTube here real short, short next day or so, if not tonight. I don't know enough to know what I don't know, and Tinker is exactly what I am. I don't have any background, I just like to play with things, and some things are more interesting than others. Alright, well, I'm going to give you the wide view, and then say goodnight. Uh, there's the two leads, one for each meter on the hot side. And there's the other side, and you can pretty much see the green post-it note in there inside the railings. I don't know, maybe this is better. And the two leads going in from there. You can you probably can't see the meters now. Let's see. If I get it, there we go. That's the the uh, AC reading on the right and there's the DC reading on the left and there's nothing else to it except for the bottom of my keyboard I flipped up out of the way have a nice night talk to you later